Good evening and welcome to one and all present here. We will now start with the prayer. Dear God, leadership is hard to define. Lord, let us be the ones to define it with justice. Leadership is like a handful of water. Lord, let us be the people to share it with those who thirst. Leadership is not about watching and correcting and connecting. Leadership is not about telling people what to do. Lord, let us find out what people want. Leadership is less about the love of power and more about the power of love. Let our greatest passion be compassion, our greatest strength, love, our greatest victory, the reward of peace, in leading, let us never fail to follow. In loving, let us never fail. Amen. Thank you. Please be seated. Oh, my. 
Thank you very much. Dear Mrs. Basu, Mr. Basu, Mrs. Khanna, my dear staff and students, welcome once again. We begin by inviting the new captains to take their place on stage as I introduce them. The passing out batch of the SCs will always hold a very special place in my heart. There are a group of the spirit of Vellum. These young girls have shown extraordinary courage, especially in these challenging times of COVID, the pandemic, where all of us were restricted to our homes, yet, these captains put an extraordinary teamwork to stay connected with the entire school and ensured all activities and events were successfully conducted virtually. I would like to congratulate Hansika, Devangana, Vedika, Arushi, Sandrik, Kushi, and Kavya for being so committed and sincere. You've all proved that there's nothing a Velamite cannot do. I applaud you, dear batch of 2021, for showing remarkable strength of character. I'd like the school to acknowledge the way they have conducted themselves through the year with a huge round of applause. Just as the old gracefully gives way to the new, I'm delighted to introduce our new captains for the year 2021-22. The school captain elect for 2021-22, Chaya Singh, fly catcher 008, is a conscientious and compassionate girl who believes in standing up for what is right. Over the last six years, she has grown immensely as an individual and proved herself as someone who leads by example an articulate orator, brilliant writer, and a seasoned hockey player, Chaya, with her multifaceted personality, has always upheld the pride of our school. Congratulations, Chaya. <laughs> the game's captain for 2021-22, Mayra Thadani, fly catcher again, 393, is an exuberant and vivacious student who spreads goodwill and cheer wherever she goes. Conscientious and responsible, she executes every task given to her with maturity. She never lets anything get her down and her iridescent and infectious smile immediately fills the environment with positivity. Congratulations, Myra. House Captain of Bulbul House, Anushka Kethavat, B445, is an extremely straightforward student with a calm demeanor, an articulate person with a strong sense of commitment towards her responsibilities. Anushka is an asset to the house and school, not one to give in to peer pressure. Anushka has the courage of conviction to voice her opinions. She's proved her mettle in all the three fields, be it academics, co-curricular, or sports. Well done, and congratulations, Anushka. A strong mind, a clear conscience, and a fearless voice. These are only some of the phrases that define Raika Ali, flycatcher 25233, house captain, now a flycatcher house, she remains cool, calm, and composed under fire and ensures that the task given to her is completed to fruition. A champion for the underdog, she'll ensure that justice and fair play prevails. Congratulations, Raika. House Captain Hoopus, Ayushi Agarwal, age 588, has been known for her friendly and approachable nature and her meticulous handling of different issues pertaining 
to her house. She has grown in confidence and handles her duties with ease, dignity, and poise. Ayushi is a girl of few words and several talents, ranging from Kathak to swimming. Throughout the lockdown, she actively worked for all her house duties and is an ideal role model and inspiration for her peer group. Unfortunately, she is not well and therefore is not present here. However, we have Kashvi Nanda officiating for Arushi as captain of this house. Welcome. House Captain of the Oriel House, Kushia Jam, 0589, is a positive role model and has always demonstrated wellum values in service and spirit. She's enthusiastic and committed to the house system. She's known for her caring, mature, and honest nature. Throughout the lockdown, she took up house responsibilities with great zeal and enthusiasm and completed her duties with cheer and precision. Congratulations, Kushia. House captain for the Utpecker House, Krisha Karna, W094, is ambitious, disciplined, calm, and easy to work with. She carries out her role and fulfills all her duties and commitments to the best of her abilities and comes out shining through it all. She's smart, sociable, and approachable to her peers and juniors. She's responsible, reliable, and is ever prepared to carry out her various duties. She's, she's a dependable individual who's a great tag at time management. She sees herself as primarily responsible for her outcomes and experiences. A fine girl, I'm sure she will be the finest, one of the finest house captains Woodpecker has ever had. Welcome, Krisha Karna. Now we take the oath. As I call out, you can walk forward, step forward and take it right. I request Chaya Singh to come forward, raise her right hand and repeat after me. I do solemnly pledge to carry out my duties towards the school with uprightness and steadfastness of purpose. I shall follow the rules and regulations of the school and uphold its high ideals and traditions and traditions and traditions with respect for the teachers and the students of the school. As school captain, it shall be my endeavor to live correctly, act kindly, yet firmly, and resolve fairly at all times. I shall uphold the dignity and honor of the school and lead it forward to greater glory always putting the school before me and serving it with all the ability and power that God has given me. Thank you. I now request Myra Thadani to come forward, raise her right hand and repeat after me. I do solemnly pledge to carry out my duties towards the school with uprightness and steadfastness of purpose. I shall follow the rules and regulations of the school and uphold its high ideals and traditions with respect for the teachers 
and the students of the school. As games captain, it shall be my endeavor to foster the spirit of healthy competition and sportsmanship and lead the school to greater glory in the field of sports, always preserving the honor and tradition of the school and serving it with all the ability and power that God has given me. Thank you, Myra. I now request all the five hubs captains to come forward, raise their right hand, and repeat after me. Do solemnly pledge to carry out my duties towards the house and the school with uprightness and steadfastness of purpose. I shall follow the rules and regulations of the school and uphold its high ideals and traditions with respect for the teachers and the students of the school. As house captain, I shall encourage every girl in my house to participate in all the activities of the school in a healthy spirit of competition and help the house to achieve excellence in every field. Thank you, captains. I now take the opportunity to present the badges to the elected leaders.
please give them a loud round of applause congratulations and god bless you girls as a symbol of transfer of authority and leadership i request the outgoing captains to exchange their blazers with the new captains please a great moment and all the very best to all of you now it gives me great pleasure in welcoming our chief guest for this evening mrs renu basu mrs basu is an ex velamite and is currently senior vice president global sales and marketing at the indian hotels company limited a tata company she is part of the executive team and leads global sales and marketing at ihcl where her responsibilities include sales marketing loyalty and digital marketing a seasoned professional with over 3 decades of experience she has been laser focused on ensuring ihcl is the single most iconic and profitable company in the hotel industry with strong relationships and ex execution skills she was featured in impact's 50 most influential women from the advertising media and marketing industry in india earlier this year 2020 she was conferred an international travel award by the pacific travel writers association as the best professional for marketing ms basu has been a role model for workplace diversity having led the otherwise male dominated sales function across offices in the us uk middle east australia and india extremely passionate about diversity and according to her ihcl has been the preferred employer for young women who want to pursue a career in sales and marketing in hotels her belief is that gender diversity brings significant value to this function with their ability to build relationships spot opportunities and have an eye for detail according to her women understand the power of collaboration and have the ability to lead complex teams which are extremely critical in this business finally she believes that women hold themselves to lofty standards of accountability leading to high performance while being exemplary at embracing change a key attribute in today's dynamic world of change she holds a bachelor of arts in psychology bachelor of law from the university of mumbai and a diploma in marketing management from jamnalal bajaj institute of management studies her interests range from indian contemporary art textiles handicrafts classical indian music to travel adventure and safaris we welcome you renu it's a delight to have you amidst us today thank you for consenting to be here with us today May I now request Mrs. Sharma to escort Mrs. Basu, our chief guest, for the evening to the stage.
last year's Founders Day was virtual, and the names of the recipients of several awards were announced virtually and handed over virtually. But we would like to hand over the awards in person to all the recipients. I'm so glad that Renu Basu is with us today. So I'll re I'm going to be repeating it, but I'd like you all to come up on stage and receive it from her. May I request Ms. Basu to award the, the Saraswati Vasan Mall Trophy for the highest aggregate in the ICSE examination 2020 goes to Udpeka 094 Krishakan. The Mahendra Verma Trophy for the highest aggregate in the Commerce Stream, Flycatcher 377, Krisha Manocha. The Faculty Trophy for Sustained Academic Standard in the Humanity Stream goes to Bulbul Saumya Saraf. I'd like the class 12 students to be seated. We can give a final standing ovation, please. Thank you very much. The faculty trophy for sustained academic standard in the science stream goes to Flycatcher 131, Palak Agarwal. The Shiraz and Sanjoli trophy for excellence in any field. This time goes to the sports field, flycatcher 003, Anahat Gravel. The Suresh Khanna Trophy for Excellence in Art goes to Hupu 270, Jyot Korthen. The Aisha Maidas Award for Creativity is being shared by Udpeka 605, Shanvi Bansil, and Flycatcher 409, Vedika Bansil. The Ashna Gupta Trophy for Excellence in Dance, Woodpecker 191, Jayavats. <laughs> Sri Vasudev Rao Deshpande Trophy for Excellence in Music goes to Hupu 561, Ramana Prakash. The Sheza Nabi Trophy, Trophy for Debating in English, again shared by two members, Utpeka 382, Tari Kaman, and Utpeka 277, Ishanya Agarwal. The Shubhi Sharma Trophy for Excellence in Hindi Debating goes to Utpeka 123, Medha Ajit Sarya. Award for Outstanding Achievement in Dramatics goes to Utpeka again, 143, Anisha Kedia. The Anjana Lal Trophy for Helpfulness goes to Bulbul 230, Mrigya Kumar.
Award for Service Beyond the Call of Duty. Flight Catcher, 377, Prisha Manocha. The Fool Kumari Award for Love and Compassion, Kupu 242, Arushi Agarwal. The Nina Kantha Aluwalia Cup for the Spirit of Wellam goes to Flycatcher 294, Hansika Nath. The Miss Linnell Gold Medal for the Best Future Citizen goes to Bulbul 7-0, Devangana Prasad. Thank you. We now begin with the school colors. School colors are given to those girls who have shown talent and brought laurels to the school in academics, co-curricular activities and sports. We are proud of them as they have made full use of their opportunities in the school. We shall start with the reading awards. Reading award goes to students who enjoy reading a wide range of books through the year. Pursuit of Excellence Certificate goes to three members. Utpeko 332, Aditi Singh, Flycatcher 294, Hansika Nath, and Woodpecker 49, Nitya Sakha. We'll begin with academic colors. These are awarded to students for their pursuit of excellence in academics. This year, the color is awarded to Oriel 080, Kanupriya Garg, receives a school color in academics. They have to be consistently good through many years She's done extremely well for herself. We will now give the colors for those who have just received in one of the fields. So we've given it for academics. We'll now move on to co-curricular colors. Bulbul 006, Shrinjini Das receives a color for her colors for Bharatanatyam. <laughs> co-curricular color for folk dance goes to Dia Gupta, B160. B218, Meha Mahemerotra receives the school color for vocal music. Bulbul 230, Mrigya Kumar receives her school colors for four different, uh, three different fields, even in the, between the co-curricular activities, namely Kathak, crea creative writing, and public speaking. Well done. <laughs> Bulbul 579, Ananya Karna, also receives in three different areas, creative writing, dramatics, and quiz. Very well done. Bulbul 587, Anusha Agarwal receives her school colors for vocal music. <laughs> Flycatcher 341, Navya Sani receives her school colors for folk dance. Flycatcher 536, Riddhima Agarwal 
for Katak. Flycatcher 026, Sarisha Jane for Katak again. Flycatcher 294, Hansika Nath receives the school colors in co-curricular activities in four different spaces, public speaking, dramatics, creative writing, and music. Well done. Flycatcher 409, Vedika Bansil receives it for multimedia and photography. Flycatcher 73, Mansi Karva receives it for art. Pupu 489, Janvi Dalmia receives a school colors for vocal music and folk dance. Pupu 270, Jot Kortend for art. Pupu 005, Diksha Rani for dramatics. Pupu 350, Ria Kuller for cookery. 0410, Pravisha Varma for public speaking, Kathak and dramatics. Very well done. O062, Rushali Mukherjee for art. Utpeka 055, Siddhi Burma for art. Utpeka 123, Medha Ajit Sarya receives in three different spaces vocal music, Hindi debating, and chess. Well done, Medha. Utpeka 191. Jaya Watts receives in two different fields, Bharatanatyam and Dramatics. Utpeka 213, Vedika Salat receives for Dramatics. Utpeka 277, Ishanya Agarwal receives in four different spaces again. Dramatics, Creative Writing, Public Speaking and Chess. Very well done. Woodpecker 3, 3, 3, 382, Tarika Man for dramatics, creative writing, and public speaking. Very well done. Woodpecker 605. Shanvi Bansal for design and folk dance. Well done. Now for colors in sports. These are awarded to students who excel in different sports. This year, the sports colors are awarded to Bulbul 358 Siddhi Bansal for hockey. Pupu 105, Menur Suri for basketball. Pupu 086, Pranjali Khanna for athletics. Pupu 353, Kavya Lal for basketball. Oriel 138, Aradhya Arora for basketball. Woodpecker 078, Satvika Bhargav, basketball again. Yeah. 
fly catcher, 003, Anahat Grewal for athletics. Fly catcher 060, Vainavitha player for tennis. Some students have excelled in more than one field. Students who have excelled in these activities will begin with academics and co-curricular activities together. Bulbul 255, Saumya Sarap. <laughs> academics, art, and music. She's exceptional in her academics and art and music too. Fly catcher 131, Palak Agarwal, academics and music. This is even more difficult to get there. Very well done. Oriel 565, Srishti Goel, Academics and Art. Very well done. The next set, set of students have excelled in co-curricular and sports. Bulbul 074, Avishi Mitrika, Design and Karate. Flycatcher 053 Vedika Arora for dramatics and hockey. Flycatcher 547 Ria Tabla, creative writing and basketball. Flycatcher 630. Vidhi Thaplyal for yoga, dramatics, creative writing, and athletics. <laughs> well done. Flycatcher 039, Rikshanka Maheshwari, dramatics and karate. Pupu 079, Alia Anand for creative writing and swimming. Pupu 398, Anushka Mehrotra for ka Kathak and Karate. Pupu 242, Arushi Agarwal for Tabla and Hockey. Pupu 286, Zara Ali for Art and Badminton. Oriel 045, Anushka Kumar for music, dramatics, and table tennis. Zero, sorry, 0182, Dia Parik, music, dramatics, and badminton. Anushka Kumar. Is that Tadia or Anishka? <laughs> Oriel 169, Vidisha Agarwal for Bharatanatyam, Multimedia, Photography and Table Tennis. Very well done. <laughs> Woodpecker 482, Sandrik, Music, Kathak and Basketball. Now, I have a very important announcement. Uh, before we move on to the Principal's Award, I would like to uh, share something very important. Um, what Vellum is today is because of our dear committed staff members. Without them, nothing moves. Uh, um, normally, we have a long service award for people who serve us for 25 years, and it's very common in Vellum to get it because once we join, 
unless we are forced by age, we don't leave the space. And uh, we have two wonderful members here um, who will be retiring this March. There are several, but all, most of them have received their 25 years of you know, long service award. But these two members are very, very special to us. Ms. Rita Vasudev and Ms. Navani have almost completed more than two decades, close to 23 to 24 years. And this is a moment for all of us uh, to stand up and really appreciate the fantastic work they have done. And I request both of them to come onto the stage and receive a small token of our appreciation. It's an award for the long dedicated service that you both have offered us. I request Mrs. Sharma to escort them onto the stage, please. Thank you very much. And now request Ms. Basu to take her seat, please. Thank you so much. Every year, the Principal's Award for All-Round Excellence is awarded to student or students who have excelled in all fields, academics, co-curricular, and sports. These girls are an example of grit, determination, perseverance, and an inspiration to each one of us. This year, I'm so, so proud and happy that normally you don't get so many getting it. It's generally two or three. This year's batch is very, very special. We have seven of them and I'm so, so proud of you. I'll read out the names. I would like you to take the stage and maybe wait for until I complete all the names. We have first Bulbul 320, Shreya Gupta, Flycatcher 377, Prisha Manocha, Pupu 561, Ramana Prakash, Oriel 77, Kushi Goel, Oriel 126, Shimain Vij, and Woodpecker Anisha Kadia. They've all got it in all the three fields. It's such a proud moment for all of us here.
Thank you. I now request Ms. Basu. Uh, it will be a privilege for us if you could share your thoughts with all our, all our audience. Thank you very much. Thank you, Padmini. I didn't realize it was going to be such a joyous day. I have to say it's been so exhilarating, energizing and uplifting being here. I've come here for a lot of events, but this has been one of the best. So I would like you all, all to applaud once again for Padmini, the teachers and for all of you. I had not anticipated this. I just thought it was a little speech. And I have to really thank Padmini for inviting me here. Uh, I haven't been traveling because I'm on the other side of 50, or rather 60. And when she called me, uh, I was traveling. She said, we'd love to have you here. I didn't even speak to my husband or my two daughters who are controlling my movements. Like we used to control our children's movements. I didn't even ask them. I just said yes to Padmini. So thank you very much. I think it was a calling and I can't tell you how happy I am to be here. So thank you for the invitation, Padmini, uh, for the investiture ceremony. Uh, and good evening to all of you, the vice principal, the deans, all the deans, the teachers, the house mistresses, the matrons, and to all you special young ladies. Please give uh, all uh, teachers, please give them a huge applause. So I stand here much older than all of you uh, with a great sense of pride, excitement, and honor to address you four decades later. So I've already given in my age, but that's fine. We Wellamites are very straightforward. We say it the way it is. So my years at Wellam, and I'm sure they're going to be yours as well, are treasure of fond memories, academic lessons, life's learnings, and friendships deeply cherished. You know, while I was sitting here this morning in the after, I mean, at around 12.30, I just walked into this room and there was so much energy. Uh, and I just couldn't believe that, you know, we are, uh, we, we just come out of a pandemic because the pa pandemic changed our entire life. But I didn't feel that happened here when I walked in this afternoon. So I want to just say a few things to the outgoing student leadership team uh, who are without their jackets, but you've carried your responsibility very well in an unprecedented time in the history of the world. I won't even say of the country. Uh, this experience has never been witnessed by anybody uh, in the past, not anybody, I mean, amongst us or even in the history of the school. And I, I think that you, you have learned a lot and these times will really prepare you really well for the future. So I think you go back with a huge amount of learning, which is a huge gem, jewelry, whatever you may call it. But remember this learning, it will hold you in good stead. And you will step out from what I've heard from Padmini, what I've been hearing about the awards that you all have got. I'm very confident, I just written this down, but I had not known this, but I think you'll be fine, wise, fair citizens going forward. And I think you'll have been already appreciated by the leadership of the school, the principal and the teachers. So I think this last one year has been a big learning for all of us and especially for you. And the way you'll have handled yourself, start, is staying offline, I mean, staying online and you know, working with the team. I'll say offline for you all because you all were not in school. In school, you're online. So um, I'm, I'm very confident. I hope I read your names. I'll recognize some of the names, but I will. I hope to see you all in the media, papers, wherever. And of course, the incoming leaders, uh, you all have imbibed a lot from your, your outgoing uh, leaders, as well as what happened last year. So I think you have a huge responsibility ahead of you. It certainly is not a privilege. It's, it's a responsibility. And you must wear this badge of honor with uh, great pride, great responsibility to fulfill the ambitions of the school and the leadership that has placed their faith in you. 
So, um, and I, what I discovered, which honestly I didn't know Padmini, that it is not, not just not the teachers or the house mistress who elect you. It's a very democratic system and all the people who are in the school also vote for you. So I think that's a huge evolution in the history of the school, which makes it more relevant. So I was, I'm, I'm really impressed with the new leaders coming in. So you have a great 12 months ahead of you and I'm sure you'll do a fantastic job. Um, and you must use your influence to support the school and make all the students and your compatriots and your friends and family proud of what you are going to do. So I, I just going to, you know, I was only going to say very little about my story, but I was a little compelled to share it with you because I think we can all, all can learn from each other because once you stop learning, you get stunted. So I was not strong in academics. Uh, so I was very, very impressed to see the kind of recognition given to people for spirit, for being helpful, uh, you know, and being supportive of each other. I wish we had got those awards when we were there. But anyway, I'm glad the school has moved very fast and very well on these. Uh, like I said, I was not strong in academics. I was, but I continue to be conscientious even till today committed to everything I do, and the robust grounding I got here at Wellum, that never die attitude, never die spirit. Uh, it really shaped me as a person and carved a path for a successful professional career. All that Badmini said was about my professional career, and it all started here in a very tiny way. My consistent belief in the importance of there being no substitute for hard work, Having the right attitude and being agile has been a bedrock for everything I undertake. And you, we must believe in ourselves. So I would say you must believe in yourself, be resilient and strong. Uh, you know, I, I, I started working at a very young age with a publication and I uh, joined uh, the Indian Hotels Company Limited, which is better known by its brand called the Taj. Um, I just worked with a focus, worked relentlessly, and never bothered about what people were saying. Always do what you feel is right, and then the results follow. And I was also very supportive of a family that, that gave me the opportunity to come to this school. You know, we have to, while every, all the teachers and, you know, all, the entire ecosystem in school plays a very important part, in nurturing you, if your parents hadn't given you this opportunity and exposure for a good education, none of us would be here. I mean, nor would I have been in the school, nor would I have been, re I would, nor, would, nor would I have reached where I am today. And support from family comes when you're young by the exposure. And when you move on in life from your husband, who's joined me here today, my two daughters, my in-laws when I was working and I had kids and my parents. And you do reach a stage where you need to balance your work with your family. And I did that, but I have to make a, make a confession here. I took a break because I thought it was the right thing to do to be with my children. So I took a short break and came back. But again, there I was pushed by my colleagues who were my bosses then. So when you build a good equity or build a good reputation, people will always want you back. And I came back after a five year break from, uh, be, from nurturing my daughters. And different situations require different responses. So there's a lot that happened all along, but I just want to, you know, as a paucity of time, want to talk about the pandemic the pandemic taught us to pivot very quickly. And you pivot personally, you pivot professionally. And we saw it very closely because, uh, you know, being on, being on the board, we've been working very closely with uh, Padmini. The way the school pivoted is very, very commendable. I mean, you know, we saw what, we saw what you all did during the Founders Day. And I think it is just incredible as to what 
the school demonstrated at a time like this. You know, I know many schools where things are very quiet, but this, this school was just buzzing and bubbling with activities. So I think you have to pivot yourself and at the job, uh, the way we pivoted where I work, we worked online to launch a lot of new products. And one was very innovative, which was introducing a food app for food. None of us had met each other and it was done by a very young team. The team was between the age group of 25 to 32. Launched in less than eight weeks, working with three different Tara companies. So there's collaboration here. There's a will to do things when you're in a, and the, you, you all know what happened to the hospitality industry. The borders were closed, but that didn't bring us down. Our spirit to just keep going on and doing things to make the organization successful, we were driven by that. So I just wanted to share this little bit that you can manage, you will reach a stage at some time, you know, my, why I say this, a lot of women tend to take a break like I did uh, because they want to manage, but I just want to tell you, you can manage your work and your personal life if you have the will to do it. You have to have the will and the spirit to pursue what you want to do. So never ever say, I can't do it. So it's, it's, you have to believe in yourself and you have to create the strength within you to make a difference because what you learn here is got to be taken out as you move on in life. So I want to come back to the Wellum values and I think we saw a lot of it on display. Uh, you know, we are, our values are rooted in strong Indian tradition, history, art, culture, and crafts. Uh, and it's so well, well upheld in this school and makes me very proud. And what makes me even more proud that we are creating facilities with the cutting edge technology that address the current and future needs for all of you. While I've, I've known this interacting with Padmini, but what I saw today was really an eye opener. The labs, I went back feeling so good and so proud. You know, we, this is for today's, for the future, you know, STEM is very, very critical. So when you create an atmosphere or environment which can, where people can nurture their ambitions or their aspirations, and that's exactly what I saw on display today. So that was really good. And uh, you know, the school really teaches us to think out of the box, a box of traditional academic pressure and other stereotypes. We just, we are living in a VUCA world, which is in contrast to this cocoon we are in. This cocoon stays even for people who passed out four decades earlier with our friends that we have. But outside this cocoon, the world is very different. But you have to be prepared for that. You can't continue to live in that cocoon. It is this overall de development that should prepare us not to take on the challenges of life, but embrace them beautifully. And everything that we learn outside the classroom forms the actual foundation of our growth in life. There is sometimes little appreciation for that while we are in school, but please remember, I, I can write a book on that, that you know, what, you, what you get here, you'll never get outside. Um, you know, the lessons we learn in the big field, the basketball courts, the amphi, the auditorium where we are today, the music room, the summer house, or just the long after dinner walks add tremendous value of learning to our lives. So this is what shapes our individual personalities. So all set to go out there and conquer the world. So school is much more than just an educational institution of, the, of, of for all of us. And we saw that in the pandemic. I know all of you all really missed being in school. Your parents were very, very concerned about you. When will the school open? When will the kids go back and you know, be in classrooms? So we know that it's more than just studying because studying you can do online as well. But Wellam gives us the wings at, 
and this huge, wonderful family that will always be the wind beneath our wings. So it is our responsibility to fly in the right direction with the right attitude. There will be no looking back once you're out there, but everything that we learned here will be our beacon for life. Once you have set your heart in the right place, everything else will follow. Persistence, passion, and hard work will achieve our goals. So all of you in our journey, you can look towards all our pioneers for strength and inspiration. There are some more insights I want to communicate, and I don't believe this is a lesson for now, but to bear in mind for the future. Uh, this is a journey with a very huge responsibility and definitely not a privilege. I said that earlier, but I'd like to repeat it again. And I really like the oath-taking ceremony as well. Your role is to lead, inspire, and build trust. That's very critical. And lead by example, and use this responsibility to support and help your team and the school to focus on excellence. So I was very happy it was in the oaths. Uh, I didn't know about that, so we are on the same wavelength. So I've um, worked on an acronym called ACE to help you go as far as you can. Be authentic. Uh, engage your values of trust with authenticity with all your stakeholders. Uh, in this case, where we are today, the teacher, students, staff, and society. Connect, communicate, and demonstrate passion. Um, passion, Wellamites, the principals, the teachers, everybody is known very well for their passion and empathy about the things you do. The well-known Wellam spirit is a legacy that we have inherited from our founder, who we are celebrating today. All the principles, including Padmini, and Wellamites before you, current and future. It all emerges from a passion. Don't do things simply for the sake of doing so. Do it because you think it's the right thing to do. The ardent drive to always achieve the best for Wellam and place the institution ahead of yourself. And I've always believed that the organization is always bigger than the person. So never think that you're bigger than the school. The school is bigger than you. And there's a, there's a, there's a responsibility towards the reputation of the school. So you should, be, you should strive to be passionate the way you carry out your tasks. As Albert Einstein once said, I have no special talents. I am just passionately curious. Energy. Be relentless and sustain the energy as that is a life force of change. Be positive and convert every challenge into an opportunity. And that's what seriously the pandemic taught us. You know, we had got stuck in, 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 our, in, in the problem. We would have never found any, any solutions. Um, your enthusiasm, attitude and mental energy will allow you to face adversity and privileges both with courage and humility respectively. You as individuals and the roles you take on will meet your fair share of challenges. Life is not a bed of roses. You will encounter obstacles and stumbling blocks along your journey of leadership, sometimes even failures, but don't let these situations lead you to despair. This is part of the learning journey and improve yourself with each encounter, your pursuit of excellence. So amidst the global pandemic, deepening inequality, systemic injustice, and existential questions about truth, democracy, and the planet itself, you now have a greater responsibility to stand up for the truth and push for equality and justice and become active citizens. And each one of you has a capability to make history in whichever field you choose Go out there boldly and make it. So in closing, thank you once again, Padmini, for inviting me. Um, to all you students seated in the auditorium, both outgoing, that's that side, and incoming, um, you represent the future of Wellam. The school has a reputation because of what the teachers do for us and what you go out and do in life. And that's how we've got a great reputation of the school. And we are known for our spirit, like the Wellam spirit, 
I have two daughters who always say, mom, you know, when I, we meet your friends, we understand the Wellam spirit. They're just so energetic, regardless of their age. So I will encourage you to channel that spirit to always speak up on issues you are passionate about and realize that your voice has a power beyond what you could ever imagine. Life is much more than success in the academic field. It is a playground of life and work. So go out and astonish the world. I'm confident you will astonish us with your intellect, your worthiness, and your strength. And I really liked a point Padmini brought up this afternoon was about raising your voice. And I heard Raika's name. There's Raika gone. Ah, yeah. I heard her name. So I just thought, you know, it's good. It's so good that this is encouraged and nurtured. So no matter what you do, where you are, you just need to remember that if at all you are put on a pedestal, then may your feet kiss the earth more than the sky. Humility complements excellence. May you all walk with confidence in whichever field of life you choose and never ever forget your roots lie here in 12 Circular Road. Thank you, Renu. Um, your very presence is extremely inspiring for our students. And of course, all that you spoke about the importance of uh, a fine attitude, a never say die spirit, um, a need to put in one's best. I think um, it'll um, it'll hold them in good stead for a very long time, and I'm sure they will all rise to the expectations and even beyond, because the Wellam spirit is in each one of them. Thank you, thank you so much for being with us today. I must tell, Renu is one person uh, who's so level and balanced. Um, it's very, you know, when, when you're a Velamite, you're so, so connected. In fact, so emotionally connected. Anything to do with it is, is taken in a, it, in a particular sense of huge emotion and also intellectually to, you know, actually take it through. Whenever I take something, because I'm not a Velamite, but I see in her an extremely balanced person who is willing to, just like she told you, how nimble-footed and agile we'll have to be in life and adapt to the change that is the only thing that is a constant. I can't tell you how much of a support you've been for me. Thank you so much for being with us uh, here today. Thank you. Thank you, Reno. <clears throat> Dear captains, as you join the ranks of the best of the best, you must also pledge to carry on your responsibilities befitting a leader. A leader's job may not be easy, but the rewards can be truly phenomenal. You all have been chosen because over the years, you have displayed qualities of a leader, be it in your actions, your thoughts, or your behavior. I'm sure you'll carry the new titles with a sense of integrity and honor your position. However, sometimes there is a thin line that separates a good leader from a poor one. I'd like to share some of the traits that I hope will help you walk the path of becoming a fine leader. And we have to remember, not those who wear badges are leaders alone. We're all leaders in our own sweet way. So what I'm going to share just now is for everybody who's here. Learn to be strong, but not impolite. It is an extra step you must take to become a powerful, capable leader with a wide range of reach. Some people mistake rudeness for strength, but that is not a good substitute. Humility is the key, my dear captains. Learn to be kind, but not weak. Most mistake weakness for kindness, but kindness, in fact, is a very powerful type of strength. We must be kind enough to tell someone the truth. We must be kind enough and considerate enough to lay it on the line. A true leader 
will be full of compassion, but not let that become their weakness. Learn to be bold, but not a bully. It takes boldness to win the day. To build your influence, you've got to walk in front of your group. You've got to be willing to take the first arrow, tackle the first problem, discover the first sign of trouble. Like the farmer, if you want any rewards at harvest time, you have to be bold and face the needs, face the weeds and the rain and the bugs straight on. However, do not misuse your power to bully your way into getting results. Learn to be humble, but not timid. Humility is a virtue. It is almost a godlike word, a sense of awe, a sense of wonder, an awareness of the human soul and spirit, an understanding that there is something unique about this human life. Humility is a grasp of the distance between us and the stars, yet having the feeling that we are part of the stars. It takes pride to build your ambitions, to fight for a cause or share an accomplishment. But the key to becoming a good leader is to be proud without being arrogant. Do not mistake arrogance for pride, for arrogance usually paves the path for a downfall, while pride can only take you higher. Learn to develop humor, but without folly. In leadership, we learn that it's okay to be witty, but not silly but not foolish. I'm sure each one of you will take a leaf out of these traits and face any situation with integrity, fairness, compassion, and strength of character. Remember, my dear captains, there is a large number of young girls who are looking up to you, learning from you, and following your footsteps. Be conscious of the path you take, my dear captains, for you will be followed. I wish you all the very, very best. Keep exploring, keep dreaming, never stop believing in the power of ideas, your imagination, your hard work to change this world, this little world called Wellum for a beginning. Now, as I mark of our heartfelt gratitude, I'd now like to request the incoming and outgoing school captain to come over and present Mrs. Basu a small token of our appreciation. A loud round of applause. We have one more small work before we actually light the candle, which is the most brilliant part of this occasion. I'd now like to request Renu, before we proceed for this, uh, to share uh, one of the most important decisions that um, our Board of Governors have made. And uh, she being part of them, she will now represent them to share, share something very, very important. Thank you very much. Please, Renu. Thank you. This is more than what I had settled for on that call. <laughs> but thank you. Um, some very exciting news while it was for all of you today, but we are all in it together. So the very special announcement uh, to announce the new vice principal for this very revered school. May we put our hands together for Mrs. Rajshri Oja. That's passing on the torch from <laughs> Geeta to Rajshri. Congratulations, Rachi. All the very best. And thank you, Geeta, for everything that you've done for the school. So we'll begin with the uh, candle lighting ceremony. So I'd now like uh, Geeta 
Uh, please, uh, let's start with you both. Thank you very much. There is a candle in every soul, some brightly burning, some dark and cold. There is a spirit who brings a fire, ignites a candle, and makes his own. Who brings a fire? 